My name's Gabrielle Chekic and I'm a local based Adelaide nuclear med physician and oncologist. And I'm the clinical lead of the South Australian peptide radionuclide therapy service for patients with neuroendocrine tumours. So look, neuroendocrine tumours or NETs as we affectionately call them are quite a broad range of tumours and because of that they present very differently. They are really broad range. Um, some have absolutely no symptoms and are picked up incidentally but for those with symptoms we find that the major symptoms are flushing and diarrhoea. Sometimes people might be short of breath or have a bit of a wheeze and certainly abdominal pain linked into the diarrhoea is really probably the most common. Very rarely you might get an unusual rash. And the challenge is that these symptoms are not really uncommon symptoms. They're in fact, some of the most common symptoms that we see. And that really leads to delayed diagnosis. So it's trying to nut out the flushing. Is it a wet flush? Am I, have I got sweats with it or have I not? And trying to understand that it's the consistency and the fact that these symptoms don't go away. They might affect your quality of life. That's sort of the key, and that's when you need to be saying to your healthcare professional, I don't feel right, there's something not quite right here. Many primary healthcare physicians or GPs may only see one or two in their whole career. So not always on their radar, but certainly if it's, if it's suspected, we do have some blood tests that are screening tests. Now again, nothing is entirely specific and things can cause them to be abnormal when they're not actually relevant. Uh, and obviously imaging and we've come a long way with imaging and it, people shouldn't be afraid to perform a CAT scan if they feel that there's something not quite right because for these symptoms to happen it's usually because something's going on in the liver and that can be assessed with a liver ultrasound or a CT. That's in the early stages.